Good morning, people of purpose. So, um, I'm just coming to you today, and I wanted to talk to you about um, mindset and um, the definition of success. So, I'll start off by you know what brought this on. So, yesterday, um, one of the neighbors, um, her son and my daughter, you know, haven't been seeing eye to eye since this summer, so she felt it her need to drive over here and you know let me know what was going on. And in our conversation, you know, she kept you know pointing the finger at my son, you know, as if it doesn't take two people to have an interaction. So, um in the conversation, she made it her point to say how happy and successful she was. Um, and I was like, hmm. I had to think about it for a minute. And I said, okay, I let it go. I kind of laughed and chuckled and moved on. So her definition of success is she's a realtor. Um, she drives a Lexus. We live in the same neighborhood and she was married and she just felt like she just, she had arrived. And I thought about that and I thought about my definition of success. So I have all those things that you have. That doesn't make me successful. My definition of success is me being financially independent, me being out of debt, me being able not to have to go to a job. Um, and me being able to live my life according to my terms. So having material things doesn't define me. And that's a common misconception amongst people that we feel like if we have those things that we have arrived, no, you have things. So Yes, things make our life, you know, comfortable, um, but does that determine how successful I am? I have a college education. Doesn't make me successful because you can be homeless with a college education. You can be jobless with a college education. So if you haven't got to the point where you're independent, you haven't arrived, honey. And so... And I always say, and so it was just, um, it, for me, I had to just take a step back because what I'm learning as I'm learning and speaking to more people is that, you know, our definitions of life and our perceptions about life are completely different. Um, I can't let her definition of um, success or life or what have you be a stumbling block for me, as well as my definition be a stumbling block for her. If she feels like that, that has caused her, you know, to be that, and she feels like she has arrived, that's fine from her standpoint, but it's not fine from my standpoint, you know? And so I just want you to think about that as, you know, you go throughout, throughout life that, you know, you see people with the title, you see people that have this grandiose life compared to yours, but is that truly what the measure of success is in your mind? You know, I think people feel like because, because in Georgia, I'm going to only speak for Georgia, the average, um, the annual income is only $40,000 a year. So if a family is making between 60 and 80,000 collectively, you know what I'm saying? They've arrived. And on a lot of then you can have a person that is making 80 or a hundred thousand dollars. And you know, we feel like if you make it a hundred K then that's, that's it. That's the end all be all. But our lives can be completely the same when we measure it with success like is that really what brings me happiness is that really what brings me joy do i want to be attached to my phone at work all day or do i want to you know spend time with my family so don't let that be your deterrent is what i'm saying is don't let that define you in bring you to that moment of success because everybody doesn't work for money. Like I've learned that too. 
more people would rather have the time freedom to do what they want when they want, especially, you know, if you have a family, than to work from sunup to sundown every single day just to maintain things. Um, things don't bring you happiness. You know, life is not about things because when you're gone, those things are gone too. And it you realize that that wasn't what brought you the actual happiness. And so I just wanted to give you guys, you know, my take on success this morning. Um, I, please do me a favor and follow my YouTube channel at um, Donita J. Clark. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And then also my website is www.donatajclark.com. Thank you guys and have a good morning.